Hello, welcome to Everything Fly Fishing. In this Friday's video, we're going to show you our version of our, our RS2. If you like this video anytime, give it a thumbs up below. If you want to support our channel, join our Patreon. Go check it out in the description below. Become a Patreon and help support us make this and other great videos to come. I'm going to start with a size 20 standard dry fly hook, 70 near black thread. I'm going to run that back right to the bend of the hook. And then we're going to ball, just a little ball of thread there and come back. And that'll split our tails when we wrap our tails down the shank of the hook. For the tail, we're going to use white or ganza. We're going to wrap this, then take one piece of ganza, make a loop with it, tie it. And you want to, no matter how far up the shank you start, you want to make sure that when you get back to that little ball that it's on both sides of the hook. And this will split your tail. And then when you get back there, uh, put a, take your thread and go up in between the tails and then wrap it up. And that'll split your tail. Just be patient. You can move them around with your fingers. You'll get them set right. Just be patient. And then when you got them set, let them go. Okay, we're gonna build a body out of thread here. You kinda wanna build it cigar shape, but you want to leave a distance of the same size as the eye of the hook. You wanna leave that gap between the eye and where you end your body at. Cause that's where you're gonna tie in your wing. You don't wanna make fault there. So make your body cigar shape. Okay, now for the wing, we're going to use this gray polypropylene floating yarn, if that's what you use. Just a floating yarn you would use for like an Adams pedestal. We're going to make sure when we cut that, that the ends are even. And we're going to make sure that you stay back from the eye of the hook. And we're going to cinch that down really tight when we start doing it. And run up to the eye of the hook and form your head. We're going to whip finish this, and we're not done yet. When you're done whip finishing it, I don't have any. I usually use super glue on the head. You can use uh, um, head cement, which I don't usually use, but on these flies, you don't want that wing to fly out of there. And a little more secure to make it a little more secure so it don't go anywhere. So you want to use super glue or head cement on this fly. Okay, you cut the tail twice the length of the shank of the hook, and then you want to go back up and cut that wing. I only make it about a uh, quarter inch long, just a little tough sticking out. Okay, these are real easy, and I enjoy tying them. I tie, enjoy tying them so much. The next thing I know, I had like 10 of them or 20 of them made. So tie these up, they're deadly pattern. Oh, hey, long rise. Hope you enjoyed that pattern. Make sure you go down and check out our Patreon down in the description if you want to help support us make other great videos. Hope you enjoyed this fly. Keep your lines wet out of the trees and only give them fish a sore lip. And I will see you guys next Friday. Enjoy your day. Later.